Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. Well, I can hold up a watch, but I am going to wait and talk about this one till later. What I want to do is I want to talk real quick about the new announcement where G-Shock is going to release, I think in August, some metal Cassiokes. And so this is my homemade version. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But for the sake of the first part of this conversation, let's just roll in a picture of the G Central article. Now, this G Central article is from June 16th, 2021. And this article, if you don't know, like if you're into G Shocks, then you know that G Central is like the. It's like Time Magazine, but for, or whatever, I don't even know what popular magazines would be, but like, it is the centralized spot for like all info G-Shock related. Whenever it comes to uh, new releases, new colorways, limited edition stuff, you know, they kind of scour the world of G-Shock news and really centralize it. I guess that's where they got their name, G-Central. So it's a great way to just kind of keep in touch with what's going on, basically anything related to G-Shock. And so this article was, I saw some pictures that got released of this prior to seeing the G-Shock article. And so, but then G-Shock did an article. So we're just going to use that one there, even though I don't think they were the first ones to break the story, but I don't know if people really care about that. I care about the info. And so that's what I'm going to share with you now. But let's take a look at this real quick. There are four variants. There's a silver. It's got both a silver dial and a silver bezel with a black rubber strap. So one thing you'll notice about all of these is that you'll have a dial and then you'll have a metal bezel. From what I can tell, no metal bracelets on any of these. And they all have different colored rubber straps on them. And so I don't know if the rubber straps that they come with are going to be your normal G-Shock Casio ones. I'm curious to see what those rubber straps are. But anyway, so there's a silver dial with a silver bezel and a black band. And then the next one, which I'm eyeing pretty hard, is the green dial with a black bezel and a green band. And then... Next is the red dial with a black bezel with a black band, which is kind of what I was showing on the screen a second ago and what we're going to look at again here in a little bit. And then the last one, which is my favorite overall, I mentioned that I'm eyeing the green, but I'm really eyeing the blue, is the blue dial gray bezel with a black band. Now, these are supposedly going to retail for $200 to $220. I believe the first one, the silver and black, is going to go for $200. And then I believe the other three are $220. But as usual, don't quote me on this. I don't work for G-Shock. I'm not a G-Shock salesman. I'm just sharing info that I think is cool that I've heard. So call it a rumor, call it a rumor, but hopefully the rumors ring true. Usually G central, the rumors ring true. So with these four variants, which one do you think stands out the most? If you were going to get one, what would you jump on? My first pick is the blue. My second pick is the green. My third pick is the silver. And then of course, fourth is the red. Now, the red, we're going to talk about the red here in a little bit. So if I had to rank them, it'd be blue, green, silver, and red. Now, a buddy of mine, I was talking to him about it when the pictures got released. His favorite was the silver. And so, you know, I'm curious about that. And then I'm also curious, like, I don't know, should, should I just, well, I'm probably not going to buy the red one. But should I just get one of the other three, like get the silver and the green and the blue? I mean, I don't know if nothing else, you can probably flip it. I'm not, I'm not trying to like make money. I'm also trying to not like lose money, but yeah, I could probably for the experience that they are and to be able to see them in person, I could probably get all, all of them. I did that with the recent, the G Moss, whatever the smaller Casio. In fact, let's go ahead and show that real quick. This is another sneaky. I'm wearing the white one right now because I got into this sweet mod kit. And ever since I swapped it over to this thing, I have been adoring this watch and adoring wearing it. 
but anyway so i i did the collect them all with these well i don't know if y'all know i did the collect them all with like all the ga 2100s or all the cassie oaks as they call them and so i'll have to do a whole nother video on that another day but let's look at this red one real quick and i've got a couple of others i'll show you but yeah so this red one this is a mod that i had i was digging through my parts and it turned out i just happened to have one of these black bezels sitting in a in on my shelf i just sitting there and i wasn't using it um it, just so y'all know right and i always hold these things upside down there's always a ton of dust on these okay this watch on the right started out as this watch on the left it was your red all red cassie oak if you watched my video on this i think it aired one of the most illegible watches that you that Casio has ever made you can't tell the time on it but it's bright red and it looks cool so there's that here's the bezel and band that came off of that so it's pretty simple you just kind of swap out the modules and with all these other mods um i have a ton of other videos on other mod kits and mainly for g-shock squares 5600 5610 and so I have a G-Shock playlist. I'm gonna recommend that. Maybe we can try to link that in the upper right hand corner. But the G-Shock playlist is gonna have all that kind of stuff and you can see how I play around with all these mod kits and squares and different things. But in this case, I took what was a stock red one like this. I'm actually got this one. This is gonna become another mod. So we'll talk about that later, maybe another day. Not, not in this video, another day. But this one here, I took the red one. When I saw that they were releasing the new quote metal ones, I said, oh, I can basically create my own. And so what I did was I took the module, I threw it in this spare black bezel that I had. And so I have these J's and K's adapters right here for the straps. And so let's just hold it up. A lot of people, again, if you're into G-Shock, you probably know what J's and K's are. And so I ordered these on eBay. I don't know if J's and K's actually has like an online website or store, but I get their stuff on eBay and they're pretty easy to swap out. They make them specifically for the G-Shock models. And so you have these pretty cool adapters. And then instead of a black rubber strap, which I could have done that, but I didn't want to, I have it on this this black kind of not quite patent leather but close black leather strap and and what's cool about this is especially with the black bezel it really kind of dresses the watch up i mean aside from the bright red face but this really i think i think it looks good now i want to say that i made another video asking about how you know, people freak out when you put leather on divers, right? Oh, it's a dive watch and leather's not water resistant and something. I don't even know. But people freak out over that, right? I don't get it. Y'all know I'm a big fan of you do do you boo boo. Like it ain't hurting nobody. Put leather on a diver. So I made kind of a gag or a joke video about these J's and K's adapters. But I was asking the question, like, if leather on a divers freak people out, does leather on a G-Shock freak people out? Right? I mean, if you're gonna get your underwear in a bunch right it probably would but i don't know i think this looks good i have enjoyed this and i i really like it even more now that i put this black bezel on it and so yeah i just kind of wanted to show this off i think this is what the new one is gonna look like um and so now it's probably not gonna have the screws here i, I didn't look in maybe we can show a picture zoomed in of what the bezel itself looks like i suspect it might look kind of like these old version one cassie oak metal kits did so you'll see this looks like all of the other metal g's right from the bracelet and the the, the links with the dimples in them and then you can see here it's got the g-shock and this is a metal kit you know i i get all these things like on aliexpress or ebay and so i think it's going to look more like this but it'll be black well the silver one will look like this one i you know i don't have a silver ga2100 that's the cool thing about the silver and the green and the blue is that they're kind of new dials to the ga2100 series where the red one i think it's going to be just like this old one right here i don't think that they updated this you know they really should have put black hands on it in fact that's what i'm going to end up doing with this one over here i'm going to take this one and i'm going to take an all stealthed out black one and i'm going to swap all the parts in them so that basically i'm going to take two watches that are completely illegible you can't even read time on either one of them you can't I mean, my old eyes definitely can't but i don't even think a young person's eyes could you just can't tell time on these but when i swap them 
it's gonna definitely be legible i think it's gonna look fantastic it's gonna change the entire aesthetic of the watch so yeah that to come we'll see how that works out for me i saw a guy on reddit did it i had had the idea for a long time but i saw that one guy on reddit did the mod that i want to do he said it was kind of a pain in the rear but it does work you can do it so anyway, that gives me hope. But yeah, so I think it's gonna be this style of bezel over here. And I'll just show you real quick. I mean, I've got all kinds of my kits. So y'all know I'm wearing this one. This is like the Gen 3, if you call it that, Gen 3 um, style right here where this is integrated in. It doesn't do the separate bracelet. So this is another one. This is the black with the white indices. Um, this one you see there, the bracelet is not integrated it actually comes off separate so this right here was the gen 2 so this one back here is the like gen 1 if you call that this was the aliexpress gen 2 these are kind of with the fully integrated that's uh, aliexpress gen 3 oh and if you really want to go nuts if you really need to have a submariner homage g-shock they make a kit for it <laughs> not even kidding here it is i could do a whole nother video on this if you guys are interested i will say my lesson learned is i should have got the one with the black bezel and if you're seeing scratches on all this it came like that this thing is hot garbage if i'm honest i would i just i'm kind of laughing i would not i'm a terrible salesman well and i'm not this channel's not to sell stuff right i'm so thankful that i'm not a sellout or a shill because i'd be awful at it i'd be the worst ever i even in my professional career i have turned down massive promotions and massive amounts of money because i refuse to go into sales i just won't do it so anyway with this though this thing is hot garbage the watch in it is not the watch in it is great it's came from the yellow g-shock i wanted to try to find something that would pair with this blue because i was contemplating between the blue and they make a couple different of these um submariner whatever mod kits i wanted there was a blue one on a black one i think there was maybe one other one but i wasn't even curious about that and you know the black i should have gotten black if i'm honest i should have gotten black and here's why they don't really make a Casio that pairs well or matches with this blue. The blue is a good looking blue. I mean, if it didn't come all dinged up and scratched and everything, it, the blue is a nice looking blue, but I, I don't know. I don't really have one that pairs well with it. I mean, I thought about maybe swapping these out and putting the black and white in with the blue. Um, I tried some of my other ones. I mean, like this wouldn't go with it, but this is one of my other favorites the pink and purple that thing's fantastic but i don't think that it would go well oh here's another mod kit i got this is like a translucent jelly blue i've got the purple one in here um it's like purple and blue on this gray rubber strap this is my new favorite well no this one and this one are my new favorites um, from the Casio's along with this regular stock one. This one, I'm leaving it as is. I'm not modding this one at all. This is fantastic in every way, just as it is. But yeah, so I've got all of these. This thing is awful. Don't get it. Lesson learned. If you're going to get it, probably get black. It will blend better with all of those. We'll mod this one. I don't know. I got all kinds of stuff over here. The J's and K's adapters are pretty sweet. But yeah, just wanted to talk about g-shocks and mods and the new ones that are coming out so let's see here if i have any other notes oh i'm curious do you think g-shock will make the smaller cassiokes in metal and or it could be either one do you think that they'll make the cassiokes with the metal bracelets like this and like all the other you know my gold bling master you know i've got a ton of these other ones do you think that they'll make them with the actual bracelets like this but for the cassiokes um because i'm curious to see if they'll end up doing something like this but an actual oem Casio, because this is not you know the module is but the kit's not so yeah let me know what you think you have some news let me know i always like to hear it and with that, we will call this one to a wraps. Until we talk again, my friends, please remember what really matters. And that that's not watches. Keep the insanity sane.